Good morning everyone, it's 7.53 a.m. again on January 3rd, 2012. This is the second part of the Searching for a New Kurtz Comet. Uh, just a few minutes ago I went into the International Astronomical Union's website and pulled an old coordinate for Comet Lovejoy and just wanted to go into Grass and uh, show you what the process would be to go and take images of that part of space looking for a new undiscovered Kutz comet. And now here is the login uh, I use for the Global Renoscope uh, for the Information Center. So I'm just going to go log in. And this is where I use the robotic telescopes to take images of space uh, uh, and use telescopes other than the ones we have at Cosmic Obsession. And in this case uh, we have to use a, an Australian telescope to image the part of space where the, the sun grazer comets come from because of the declination of the origin of the orbit which would be minus 51 and unfortunately we'll see here Officer Australia we have two telescopes which is the, the G9 the roof is closed and the G12 is offline because the roof is closed uh, one of these I know is a wide field telescope and the roof is closed so frequently asked questions observing and weather when do the observatories open and close they're closed at the moment you can see mostly because of weather I'm sure that it is because of weather I'm gonna close that one down and go back here and now what would happen in this case? Let's say that the telescopes were open. I would be able to go into the wide field telescope, insert the coordinates that I just obtained from the International Astronomical Union, and begin to take pictures of that part of space. And that is going to be my goal. And every time I go in here to take a picture, uh, I'm going to do these videos to show you the process, show you what it takes, um, what I'm doing and uh, keep you appraised of the part that I'm I'm doing. Uh, there's so many things going on right now, so much research going on, I can't possibly focus uh, my attention to every bit of it. So um, 2012 is going to be the year of amateur astronomers networking together uh, that are in the community like I am, which is wanting to be informed of threats and what's going to happen in 2012 and what's going to happen after 2012 and then when we're not paying attention to what's going to happen to us we're going to pay attention to the beautiful sights in the night sky through uh, a, a multiple range of telescopes including all these telescopes here one two three four five six seven uh, eight nine ten eleven twelve right now we have twelve telescopes available to us right now none of them are available to us because none of them are in the uh, night night time well they are but the weather's bad here and this is morning coming up in New Mexico we, so we have Victoria Australia here we have Nerpio Spain here which is in daylight and we have Mayhill New Mexico which the Sun is coming up and is closed in the daytime this curvature this sine wave represents the terminator line of day and night and because the the circular globe is a, stretched across a flat plane you have this sine wave and it's much like the uh, the way the Sun travels up and down through the seasons through the equinox so this first attempt at taking an image of the part of space where Comet Lovejoy came from was unsuccessful but there will be more attempts in the future and I'm going to find another comet of the Crutz family comets to confirm these coordinates to make sure that I'm, I'm taking pictures of a part of space that are valuable to us in the fact that that part of space will tell us and show us where the next Sun Grazer slash Crutz family member of comets is coming and when it's going to arrive. So stay tuned. That's the process. We're going to keep moving. Um, I'm going to go to the observatory now in about a half an hour. We're going to put the floors in and move ahead. You all have a great Tuesday afternoon. The kids are back at school here in the United States after a long uh, winter holiday vacation. And so I'm wishing all the parents a peaceful, quiet house and a happy afternoon. We'll see you later.